In this video, there's a couple of things we're going to accomplish. One is we're going to change the tiling of our bricks, because right now our bricks are just a little bit huge. We're also going to take a look at creating a material instance constant of our final material. So let's start off with the tiling issue. Now this is a really easy fix, and if you are making this material strictly for BSP surfaces, you may not need to worry about this, because you can always change the scaling of a texture, and you could use texture placement mode as well. But if you ever wanted to put this on a static mesh, changing the tiling might be nice. So let's open up the content browser, open up our material, and we've already seen this done once. In fact, we've already got a text coordinate node here. I could just duplicate that, but let's grab another one. So I'm going to right click, go under coordinates, and grab a texture coordinate. And we're going to plug this into the coordinate of our bump offset, because that's actually powering the UVs of our texture sample for the normal map and for diffuse. But we're also going to connect this to the texture sample for our bump offset. Now with that done, come into the text coordinate and we could set this to say three by three. Let's go ahead and update our settings. And we'll close out of the material editor, close out of the content browser, and now our bricks are much smaller. That's great. Now let's take a look at how we can make an adjustable version of this material if we need a variant or maybe a version that we need to animate for some reason and that's by creating a material instance constant. So back here inside the content browser I'm going to right click and go to new material instance constant. Now the package is demo materials let's put this in the materials group and the name will be mat inst underscore and we'll call this um, let's, let's make a variant of the, the let's say green bricks there we go I wanted something particular alright so we'll click OK and this is what you get by default so it's, it looks like just a blank material if we close out the content browser we get the material instance editor. Now this is very similar to the material editor, except you can't really create any more nodes. This is really just about allowing you to edit any of the parameters that you've already set up inside the material editor. So let's minimize this for just a moment. Let's get back over to the content browser, and I'm going to select our original material. So M underscore brick demo. Let's go back over to the material instance editor, and the most important guy here is the parent. This is the actual material that we'll be using. So with our base material selected, I'll click use selected object in browser, and there we go. So there's our material. We can check it out, we can rotate around it, we can hold down the L key and move lighting around and all sorts of fun stuff. But some stuff just lit up over here on the left hand side in the properties as well. We have some scalar parameters. Notice we have specular power. If we want to make adjustments to this, we can just check the box and maybe change this to 3. So now our specularity got a little bit bigger. Or we could crank it up to say 20, and now we have these really glossy bricks. So we have editability. And we can expand vector parameter, and you see we have brick color and specular color. So let's take our brick color, check the box, and we'll click the little magnifying glass next to it, and let's pick some shade of green and click OK and now we have green bricks and it only makes sense if we also update the specular color and choose some shade of green now those are really green bricks I mean maybe maybe in the real world you might want to desaturate that a little bit there we go so now we have some green bricks now when you're done you can just close this out and drag and drop this onto any surface you like and now we have a green variant the cool thing about using material instances is that they can be updated using Kismet or Matinee, which we actually take a look at in the videos over Kismet and Matinee. So you'll get, you'll get to see how to do that as you uh, take a look at those lessons. So that is going to wrap things up for the material section and this video. Thanks a lot.